Hey, what's up? Welcome to Ask Philip, aka the DM Zone, where you ask me all sorts of questions and I try to answer them here live on Bold TV. Let's go. Well, not really live tape, but let's go. What's the first one? Well, that depends entirely how you want to invest in real estate. There are a couple of ways you can invest. You can invest passively or actively. Being active, active real estate investing means that you're a landlord. You buy a property that you hold on to. Passive investing is if you buy, you invest with somebody else or you buy a piece of a REIT, which is a publicly traded real estate company. One such example is the Empire State Building. They're owned by the Empire State Realty Trust. So same thing. You can own a piece of the Empire State Building that way for like $10 or less. I think the, the share price is around $10. It has been for a while. Or you can, with fractional shares, you can use a dollar. It doesn't even matter, but that's passive investing. Now, if you're talking about buying an FHA finance property, let's say with up to four units, you live in one apartment, you rent out the other three, you live in there rent free, would you need, what was it, a private loan? No, you just simply need to save up enough money for your down payment. Okay, so once you have your down payment, the bank will then give you the rest. All you have to come up with is three and a half percent. So if it's a hundred thousand dollars, you come up with thirty five hundred dollars. Then the bank would, will give you the balance. If it's a million, you come up with thirty five thousand. That's how the math goes. So no, you don't have to get a private private loan. You just have to come up with your down payment. Now, however, you want to come up with your down payment, you got to take a loan for your parents, from your friends, work extra shifts, deliver pizzas. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. However, you can get it. This is how you get it, and then the bank will give you the rest, and boom, you're off to the races. That simple. Let's go. What else we got? <laughs> Before I came wealthy, what does that even mean? All right, do I have any tricks and advice about money? Look, you just have to respect it and understand it. Once you understand it, you will treat it differently. People look at money as though everybody, I was having this conversation earlier, people look at Finances like they look at fitness where they're trying to buy a magic pill that gives them abs in seven days. Simply not how it works. You don't get ripped or jacked from going to the gym one time. Just like you don't get rich just from investing one time into one thing. You may hear things that support that notion. Not true. You may see signs that tell you, yeah, drink this tea and you'll be you'll have a you'll have washboard abs. Come on. Invest in this crypto and you'll be rich. Please. It's not how it works. You just got to treat it as though it is what it is. Becoming, quote unquote, wealthy is basically a function of, pretend like you're planting a garden. You plant a seed, you water it, you let it grow. You won't see anything for a while, but you know it's there and you continue to water it. Then before you know it, it's, it starts to grow. The trunk comes out and then it would develop branches and then leaves and apples and then you eat. You see the process there is going to take years. Uh, really fast time horizon to becoming healthy is like five to ten years five is fast ten is like is you can get to a million dollars if you just consistently invest every single month nothing crazy don't chase don't don't chase these wild fantasies just stick to the basics one such thing this is not financial advice but one such thing that i would do in a position if i was 18 starting out i would just work uh find a way to make two, three, four thousand. And before you say it, oh my God, I don't know how to do that. Drive Uber, DoorDash, tons of ways you can make money. And if you go, I won't have, have time for friends. Okay, who cares? Just go out and do it anyway. Because, and then from there, you tax yourself 50%. Let's call it a future self wealth tax. You take 50% out automatically. You just deposit it into, let's say, I would. what I would do is I would deposit it into index funds. So if I have four or five thousand, I'll take half away that way. Okay, you just invest and invest and invest. And before you know it, by the time that you're 28, 29, you'll have a million dollars. It's not a it's not a question of if maybe opportunity luck. It literally is a function of physics It's an inevitability. So just start respect money. Don't blow it on stupid stuff. Manage, track, budget. And again, tax yourself the future self wealth tax. Boom. That's it. What else we got? Listen, I come from a society that was largely, I think, 90% cashless by 2002. I'd never seen a check before I came to America. Everything was card and things of that nature. So, no, I don't really... Actually, the, 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 the change you have in America is worth very little. We don't have... Uh, the, the change we have in Denmark, which is where I grew up as a kid, 
they are actually worth something. So I would collect those. I don't collect anything here. Uh, I do pick it up if I see it. It's something I ask my dad because my dad is smart with money. And I would see people be too proud to pick up like little change. I said, do you pick up money? He goes, because he respects money. He goes, yeah, of course. I'll pick it up right in my pocket. But most people won't. That alone let me know, aha, there's something there. So if I do see it, I pick it up. But it's not like I collect it, like I hoard it. I like to hoard equity instead. And if I have cash lying around, I try to get rid of it. Whether it's, if it's little cash, I'll just use it for something. If, if it's big cash, which I, why would I have big cash? I Electronically, where it's supposed to, but no, I don't. That's a strange question, but no, no, I, I don't collect it. For me, no, I just don't. I just don't collect cash at all. Like for instance, if people say they want to send a check or something like that's like no, electronic, everything electronic. Uh, just like how people use Zelle now, that's how it used to be. It's effect Zelle and Cash App and Venmo. That's effectively how it was. There was. Because you see a lot of places where they have cash only, but when the reason they have them in all reality is because they are trying not to take on the tax liability. They want to report, we only made this much, but in reality, we have this much cash. So that's how you can save 20, 30, whatever the, 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 the tax rate is. So that's why they do that. In, in reality, if I see something that says cash only, I would consider them unprofessional, but I later understood why they did it. So, but yeah, it's, it's all, I like it all electronic. I never take uh, big wads of cash. Like I, I just don't. Because you can tend to spend it. But sometimes I might take out maybe $100 if I, but in my mind, I'm like, okay, it's going to be gone. So that's, if you have something in your pocket, you tend to get rid of it. So I always like to keep it away and not have too much at any particular time. Make sense? Well, that's all from me. And that's all from the questions for this week. Uh, just make sure you hit us in the DMs at YFWTV, that's me, or at Bold TV. Hit us with some questions, the best ones. We pick them up here. And the occasional odd one. Until next time, I'm out of here. Peace out.